the power. It's back. What's up, family? It's Too Cool TB, representing Powered by Vibes, so we're back with another episode of Artist Discovery. And today, we're checking out artist Joe Matero, who sent me a track. So shout out to Joe for uh, reaching out to us. He is an Australian singer-songwriter and guitarist. And right now, we're about to check out a track called Always a Sunny Day. And this is by the Corgis featuring Joe Matera. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. We're gonna listen to it and then we'll talk about it as it's playing. <laughs> to the Corgis. I like that little Beatles reference. <laughs> Smooth vocals. Really nice harmony right here. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, I kind of wish I had the telestrator for this. I like the little baby, like the uh, it was the Teletubbies up there in the corner, and the sun. like this part here at the end of the chorus where they kind of go to the harmony on that part. So the interesting notes I'll give here. I don't want to talk over the guitar solo. Alright, so you've heard this part, so I'll talk over this part. Alright, so what I was going to say that I think is kind of interesting here, it's interesting the dissonance between how like this is a very cheery and upbeat sounding instrumental, yet in the background you're hearing lyrics that are kind of, you know, talking about the protests and the riots in the streets, and then even in the video you're seeing how they are showing, you know, that unrest that's happening down there in the streets. You know, so it's something that it's, it has kind of an optimistic tone, however, overall with that happening. So that's just really interesting, the dissonance there and how they kind of, they play off of that.
All right, let's bring it back to my beautiful face. Yeah, this is a very nice song right here. So, first segment, let's break down what we heard in here. We're gonna get my reactions. So my reactions to it, I thought this was a nice song. I really wasn't sure what to expect by the title. And it's something that I would love to hear more of a breakdown on the meanings of the song and some of the things. Cause there's a lot of different ways that that can be interpreted. You know, I, I definitely think it's interesting how it's a very optimistic message and kind of maybe telling you to, what I'm saying, live your life above the clouds kind of a thing. It's kind of telling you to focus on the positive. That's one way that you can interpret that. But there's a lot of other different ways that you can interpret uh, what's happening in that. So it'd be very interesting to hear how the artist meant that to mean. And yeah, just in general, I thought it was a pretty nice song. It definitely got some pretty cool classic rock vibes going on there. You know, I will admit, I've admitted it on here before. I like classic rock. I don't have anything against it, but I would not consider myself an expert. It is not really my go-to. You know, I really, <laughs> I really wasn't as into the rock stuff as I was more of the jazz and that kind of um, style of music is what I primarily used to do. And, uh... But yeah, I did like this. I thought it sounded really good. There were some really cool sounds. I liked the vocal sounds a lot. So, yeah, so that's a really nice track. So that was my first reaction to it was. So the next segment that I do, we're going to break it down and kind of discuss what we were hearing in the production. So the production was pretty cool. It was very varied. And I like how they actually in the music video showed some of what was going on. Like you could hear the, the guitars, the drums, a little bit of bass. A little bit of strings coming in at the end, which the video is telling the truth. It looks like those actually were some real strings that were recorded and added to it. So that's very cool. And I like that. I also like how it's the vocals effect that was used throughout. It's kind of the vocals were double. Are you serious right now? Really? We're, we're revving up motorcycles this late at night outside? What was I saying again? Oh, yeah but the sounds so yeah i like how the different vocal sounds in there it sounded to me like most of the vocals were doubled which is pretty cool i like that effect it came across very well i also really did enjoy the chorus it, it kind of went in a different direction than i thought it would musically how when it gets to the end of that chorus it kind of breaks out into that harmonized section so i actually did really like that very cool so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got to say in the breakdown in that one. That's so why I was more focused on the lyrics, if you notice. I was kind of listening more. I wasn't um, talking over it as much. So that's another thing to the breakdown, I guess I would say. You could tell there was a lot of focus on the lyrical aspects of the way that this song was orchestrated. It did a good job bringing that out and making the lyrics the star of the show. So next section of the review that i go to we're gonna do the critique section so this is this is a part that's always kind of tricky for me personally because i'm always i'm scared it's usually the artists never really come at me for the critique section it's always the fans of that artist <laughs> so the critique section of the review the critiques i've heard listen to this on camera and they listened to it a couple times before i would have to say the only things i would critique is the mix I felt like the mix was maybe a little bit muddy in terms of just I feel like things could have been balanced a little bit better because sometimes I was losing certain instruments because it just sounded to me like there was parts where everything was just loud. So that's really the only thing I would critique with the mix. I would maybe just overall maybe rethink the mix, turn certain things down and maybe EQ it a little bit differently so that we can kind of hear each different instrument and each different sound more clear. But yeah, it's really the only critique I have. I think songwriting wise and the actual way it was arranged, I think all of that was great. And I like the vocal performances here too. The vocal performances sound great. Everything was very rhythmically accurate and intact. The singers did a great job. A very light, airy sound to the vocals and it sounded great to me. So. Yeah, as far as critique, so that's all I got for you. Just maybe look at the mix again, and other than that, it's a great song. So that's all I got. I'm trying to make these videos shorter because you know I be talking. So now we're gonna go to the best part of the review. We're gonna see where this breaks up against all the other music we listened to this far, and we're gonna put it on the artist discovery. Billboard 
chart. Let's see what I thought of it. So we got some songs on here that you haven't heard yet. So just bear with me on that. Watch all the videos and you will see all these different songs. The Billboard chart. This is not a reflection of the quality of the song. This is a list of recommendations that will be provided at the end of the year. And these are ranked in order of the popularity that I think it would have and how radio ready that it is. This is the best word that I can think of to put it. How much that if you put this on, everybody will love it and think it's a great big hit. So it's not a reflection of the quality of the song itself, just the popularity that I perceive it having. Check out the list from 2021. It's posted on the powerisback.com. You can still find it there right now. The top three for last year were really, really great and the perfect example of what we're looking for. So, as far as where I would rank this one and where it makes me feel, I think I'm gonna rank this one in a solid number 11 on the Bill Board chart. So, it's a pretty good ranking right there. There's not really a lot of songs yet. So 11, I know it might not look impressive now, but don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of songs. And I think this one's gonna hold this position pretty well, because this is a pretty well executed song. Rationale, why it's number 11. And we're gonna talk about the song above it and below it. The song above it, Erica de Lima, Tiny Piece. In fact, you know what, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm changing my mind already, which I tend to do. I'm gonna go to number 10. Just because as I was getting ready to talk, it made me think of it. So what I would say is, <clears throat> now it actually is just below Sapphire Rose song for me. It's just above Erica de Lima, Tiny Piece. So Sapphire Rose, that was another Australian. So shout out to Australia. I love y'all. Australian singer, songwriter, also an activist. And that was more of a, a pop oriented song. That one I just felt like sounded a little bit bigger in terms of the production and it's something that for me, I guess my bias comes into play here sometimes because I prefer things that are just a little bit faster in tempo and a little louder. So that song kind of did that for me. So I just felt like that one was just a little bit more up tempo in it. It had a, a more grand sound to it, a little more modern sound to it. And I think it maybe connect with the kids a little bit better. And that is right above Erica de Lima, Tiny Piece. That was a great song, and it was a very epic sounding instrumental that it was over. However, I think this song in general had a better execution to it than that particular song did. So that's the Billboard chart for this week. So let's bring it back to my beautiful face, and we're going to close it out. All right, final segment of the review. So this is to Joe Matera, to the Corgis, if you're watching. Well, I would say to you guys, I like this music. What you guys are doing is great. I love hearing music like this, that it, it has more of a purpose. It's trying to make some sort of a statement because I think that's important and that's something that's missing from music in the mainstream sometimes. So I, I really enjoy listening to this song. I've checked out some of your other work too. Very talented, very skilled. And guys, all of you guys that were involved in this, I think did an excellent job. So I loved hearing the guitar, seeing all the real instruments. And, and you know, this was just overall, it's just nice. So keep up the good work. Keep going and keep playing. You know, for uh, Joe, I know you have a lot of experience. So, you know, it definitely really shows why I hear a song like this just put together so well. And yeah, just keep up the good work. That's all I got to say. I don't know what else I could uh, add to it other than that. So with all that said, to Joe Matera, to the Corgis, to all the fans, and everybody watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, and I hope that all of you did too. And spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you on the next review. The, 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 the power is back.